Boys and girls, uh, Sam Bagger here uh, from the 405th Infantry Division and the Replica Prop Forum, uh, aka Assign Baz on the Overclockers Australia forums. I'm um, just taking apart the voice changing module that I got from eBay and uh, I've lengthened the wires to go to the microphone and make it a little bit easier to play with. I've also taken off the um, rubbishy, pathetic little speaker that you couldn't hear a mouse fart on and I uh, just grabbed a speaker out of an old TV. I don't know anything about electronics, but I wired it up and thought I'd give it a go. Um, as you can see here, on the front cover, there's robot. If you can see that. It says robot, and then there's an up and a down button. Um, because I've pulled it apart, there's the button. And on the circuit board, there's robot at that end, and there's the down button, and there's the up button, or vice versa, I'm not sure which it is. Uh, when I power the unit on, little LED comes on, turn it up full volume and I have to talk directly into the microphone one two one two one two and that sounds horrible so what I have to do is press this middle one or the other one but I press the middle one because they go up and down scrolling through the different uh, frequencies and I go I'll just go through them all but I think it's the fourth one two one two press one two one two Press one two one two. Press one two one two. Still a bit high. Press one two one two. That's about it right there. I think uh, sounds a little bit robotic, and that's not too bad. Otherwise, I have to go a little bit deeper. One two one two one two. Now that's getting a little bit silly. So there you go. Um, I don't know how to modify this board um, or cut out all those other things, but. From what you guys on overclockers have been telling me, um, that 16 pin chip there, um, it's something to do with that. So I don't know how to bypass all those bits and pieces, but maybe somebody could help me uh, without costing me a fortune. Surely there's a simple way to take this and make it do what I want to do, and maybe even somehow boost the sound a little bit. Perhaps that speaker's uh, out of a TV is too powerful for a 9 volt battery to try and supply to. Anyway. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Sandbagger out.